All right, so this video is for all you people complaining about price of amplifiers. This takes time to even make the video. Everything that we do inside of on an amplifier takes time. Everything takes time. Whether it be sitting down um, on a software program, um, laying out where all the holes need to be, what sizes need to be, your layouts, your principles, uh, you know, the actual carving, the actual painting, and then the sanding, the drilling of the holes, and turrets, man. This shit takes time, okay? Time is money. Now, yeah, I could just have a PCB board made. Uh, we get 500 of them. It doesn't take me any time. They come in the mail, and but that's a cheap way to do it. And uh, you're losing a lot of value um, current-wise or whatever. But anyway, I wanted to show you something, man. Got your timer out? I don't have a timer, but these are the turrets. We have a turret that goes in the board. We flip it over, we put some Loctite on it. Put a nut on the turret. We align the turret to where you think that it should go. You get your socket. And you tighten it down. Now, if you had your stopwatch, which you'll be able to watch the video, uh, that's a little off. All this takes time. So look, man, I got to do 60 turrets per board. In my other amps, some of them are 50 turrets. Now you can say, oh, you could just drill them and press them. Again, there's cheaper ways, there's cheaper ways to doing things, and there's more expensive ways to do things. And there's the right way to do things. Yeah, if you don't have time to do this, I get it. Time is money and everybody can't afford time. So what? Don't complain the price is too much. Because when I sit here for four hours, or however long it takes, I have no eye out I have no idea how long this is gonna take. But I, I do know it's going to take a big chunk of my life today to put all these turrets in these boards. Um, you have to calculate that kind of stuff into the cost of making the amplifier. Now that being said, a lot of times I lose my ass because people don't want to pay for what the amps are worth. By the time I'm done building these amplifiers, and sometimes for the amount of money they're being sold for, I'm making under $10 an hour. Uh, because the amps, the, the cost is just, the, for the parts alone, it's, it's expensive as fuck. Um, I'll, show you, I'll show you something here as soon as I'm done putting this turret in. Alright, anyhow. So look, we have turrets, they're in there. I'll clean the board up later. I want to show you something. This is important. Very, very important. And I don't know. Yeah. We can just take this. All right, here we go. Let me make sure I'm in view here. All right. Like a buck. All right, you can see a Zycons. They're 10 watts, 150 ohm. All right. The problem with these are they're only rated at 350 volts. I have said this a million times. 350 volts. All right. So they're rated at 350 volts. Not recommended to put 550 volts into these things, but people do it. That's what you people do. They cost a buck, maybe cheaper. You probably get them way cheaper if you actually get them wholesale. What's the other option, guys? The other option is, give me a second. Let me see if I can find what I need here. The other option is this. All right. So these are 10 bucks each. 
Yeah. So you cheap-ass motherfuckers can buy 10 of these for one of these. I can make 10 amps versus one. I'm just going to use this one because fuck that. Well, I say fuck you. You're a cheap-ass motherfucker. If you weren't so cheap and did things right, then hey. Now here, I have another comparison. Tube Depot Antique Electronic Supply 1K resistors. They're good resistors. I can't complain about these ones. They got a pretty good rating on them. I think they go up to 450 volts, so they're good. But why use them? Why use these? These are like a dollar or something, dollar thirty, dollar fifty, maybe more. I don't know. But we should be using these. These are a thousand volts. Five watts. They're also seven dollars each around. So seven bucks versus three bucks? Come on, guys. Now I'm not buying these. They're not. They're not. They're not fucking seven dollars because they're in, they're old and shit. What they are is the voltage ratings are much higher. And if you're going to be putting a lot of voltages to things, do it fucking right. Don't do it to it so that when you sell the customer an amplifier in a year or two, the tube goes bad and it just fries it. You know. Or just fries because it's just been overheated so many times. So anyway, that's what I got to say. Uh, time is money. And money is time. So the longer I sit here talking to you, the more money I lose. The longer I sit here and I put turrets in my, on my turret board, I'm going to lose fucking money, dude. So I got to do it. I got to stick it out. But it will be a good, I don't know. I'm just saying it soon. I don't have no idea how long it's going to take. But then again, I got to go back up there. Once I got that, I got to line them up in my, in my chassis. I have to, you know, everything that I do is one step at a time. You know, it doesn't matter. All the holes in the chassis had to be drilled by me. It had to be laid out somehow. They just don't get there. I just don't go buy kits. You guys just buy kits online and you, you just throw them together and you slap them together shittily and you say, hey, man, I got a plexi. You ain't got nothing, man. You know what you got? You got something somebody else did, and you just basically build it, man. These amplifiers are designed by me, my brain, my amps, my circuits. It's very, very important. You guys got to knock it off, man, with your bullshit, dude. If you're on welfare and you can't afford a fucking amplifier, you can't. Now, I'll tell you something. I smoke cigarettes. I don't, none of my amplifiers smoke or smell like a cigarette. I don't give a fuck what you say. I clean my amps when I'm done with them, man. I actually use like armor all and shit to clean the, the toilexes. Uh, my amps never smell like cigarettes and I don't smoke a lot. I smoke when I'm nervous and when I'm making videos, I usually am fucking nervous. So I smoke cigarettes just like I'm going to do right now. But look, I'm going to show you something. This is a customer's. Mm -hmm. Look at, I just blew smoke all over it, man. Am I going to, is that bad? Is it going to affect, is it going to affect the way the amp fucking works or smells? No, dude. Fucking smells like electric, dude. So come on. Every single thing I do in my amplifiers takes time. By the time I'm done doing an amplifier, I got like some amplifiers I have from start designing all the way to the end. I have 150 hours in. So how much is time worth, man? 150 hours times 10 bucks is what? How much money, guys? Come on, I don't even come close to making that kind of money. If So if I have an amplifier and it costs $5,000 in parts because they very well can, uh, they might cost $3,000, 2000 never, never 2000 anymore because I build 100 water. So I'm never getting amps anymore built on, out of my house for under 2000 in just parts. So, you know, it's costing me like anywhere between twenty two and twenty seven hundred dollars just in parts. So if you guys don't want to buy it and it sits on the market for four months, I lost all that money already. I had to have some kind of revenue. So what happens when I need that revenue and I need that money back? I start lowering my prices. Once I hit a threshold, say if I have an amp for twenty five hundred and I put twenty two hundred in it, I made three hundred dollars for a hundred and twenty hours. It's not worth fucking doing man there's no you know i just it's not worth it man but i do it because i love it and then i get attacked by you people online because i raise the prices trying to make some kind of fucking money so i can live 
you know, if, if, if that's the case, man, maybe you guys should quit your fucking job and try doing what I'm doing instead of being negative assholes and saying, Hey, the prices are too much because you will never see an amplifier like I'm doing for sale online. Other than from this guy right here, I'm the only one that's doing what I'm doing with the circuits that I'm doing anyway. So that's it. I just want to let you guys know. Have a good day. See you later.